Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how you can add summary information about the properties for your Excel workbook. Now, I'm creating, I'm creating this video to assist one of my viewers, Ben, in the UK to prepare for his job interview tomorrow. This is one of the skills that his prospective employer wants him to demonstrate. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control plus tab to open up another Excel workbook. In this lesson, I'm going to cover three areas, how to find the property summary sheet and how to make changes to the properties that summarize your Excel workbook and why it is, it is advantageous to add in uh, subjects and categories and keywords because that will improve uh, the speed with which you can search for a document who you can't recall the title, but you do recall the keywords that you added in as tags. So you see up here, I searched for hyperlinks and the names hyperlink that is in a document or a folder as well as the tags are highlighted. And to conclude the lesson, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of one of the really fantastic uh, new improvements that began in Excel 2007. You can actually show up to 50 recent documents. So this makes finding a document so much easier. All right, let's begin. Let's go over on to the workbook that I used in the previous lesson, which was on creating hyperlinks. When you want to access the summary information sheet for the properties in this current workbook, go to the File tab. This opens up Backstage View. Be sure to click the Info tab. So over here, you see a summary about this workbook. Now, some of the information is added automatically by the system. For example, the size of the document, uh, the day that it was created, the day it was last modified, even the day that it was last printed. And other information I've added in, for example, my company name, uh, the subject matter, categories, and you can also add in keywords and comments. So the tags up here are the keywords. So this will make searching for a document whose title and location you can't quite remember. Now, there are several ways that we can edit and add this information. One way is to do it right here on the summary sheet. And even within the summary sheet, notice that when you click on this hyperlink, it's a toggle between showing less summary information and showing all or more of the information. You'll probably want to come over here by clicking the drop down next to properties. Notice that there are two views to show the document panel. Now, this is the document panel that appears on top of the worksheet. So below the ribbon, but on top of the actual working area. And again, if I wanted to add a title or add in additional keywords, you add a keyword and then separate it by a comma. Now, notice that you may have, depending upon your system, if you're on a server, you may have certain required fields. They'll be indicated with this red asterisk. Now, if you want to access the advanced properties, come over and click the drop down menu here and open up the advanced properties pane. Now, notice that there are five tabs on this pane general information. And again, this is something that is added automatically. We also have summary information. So it's another way that we can add in or access the information that we have in the control panel. We also have statistics about the workbook. We also have a summary of the content. So here are the named worksheets that I have in this Excel workbook. And here is the one named range. So it's a great way to get an overview of the information about the Excel workbook. And if your company is using custom uh, tags, this is a fantastic opportunity for you to go in and find information, for example, about a specific client or work that you're doing for a specific department. So there's so much information that you can add and it will make finding your workbook so much easier as well as giving you a nice neat summary about the information. All right, let's click OK. And now to uh, close this down, doesn't matter which pane that we're in, 
we go over here and we click on this close button. Now, let me move over to the um, uh, home tab over here and I want to talk about recent documents. So file tab on the ribbon or if you're in Excel 2007, the office button. What you want to do is you want to take a look at the recent documents. Now, I have 25 of my most recent documents, the, the, the 25 most recent documents that I've worked on, as well as some recent places. What's really exciting is that when you want to be able to keep certain documents always on view, in other words, it, so they don't fall off when they become the 51st document, you see these little pins? When I click to turn that into a green pin, then this document will always be available. So if, if there are certain important workbooks that you use once a month, pin them to the recent workbook. So let's unpin them. This is a toggle. It toggles on and it toggles off. Now, how do you actually uh, change the number of recent documents? Click on the Options tab. And what you want to do is come down here into the Advanced tab. On the Advanced tab, move the navigation down so you get into the display area. So here is where you can change. You can put as few as you wish, one recent document, for example, or you can go up to 50. So it really is a fantastic way to be able to find your most recent documents or those documents that you use once a month or once a quarter. So there you've learned how you can take advantage of the tools for adding summary properties to an Excel 2010 workbook. And good luck on your uh, job interview tomorrow, Ben. And I'll see you in the next lesson.